So ladies, we just saw your introduction and welcome group 5 ladies and gentlemen for the head to head challenge. How do you feel Amber? I feel fine, a little bit nervous but it's alright. <laughs> it's alright, okay. What about you Dunya? Yes, I'm really nervous but uh, we can uh, help each other so um, I think it's gonna be uh, fine, gonna be fine, yes. Yeah, and what about you, Luca? Yeah, well, I'm also um, really nervous, but uh, I'm going to do the best I can and uh, we're going to help each other, so... Uh, yeah, because you know each other and yeah. uh, you didn't get the questions up front, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Is this a, a point that the stress is extra high? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's start with Luca. Give us a fun fact about yourself. Um, I've been doing gymnastics since I'm three years old. So for more than 16, year, 16 years now. And uh, a lot of people didn't know that. So. Okay. And you're quite good at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because otherwise you wouldn't do it for 16 years, right? Yes. Yeah. I really love the sport. So. Okay, and what, what is your um, subject you're most strong at in gymnastics? My floor exercise or music. I really love uh, that. Okay. Well, we have to find more out about that. Maybe you can make a little video and show us later on. Yes. What about you, Amber? What is your fun fact that we should know about you? Um, I really, I'm really sporty. I like to dance and also gymnastics. I began when I was also very young, at a young age, and I, I still do it now, and I love to do it, so... Gymnastics? Yes. And what is your strong subject in um, gymnastics? I think floor. Floor. And which part? The dancing part. The dancing yes. part. <laughs> <laughs> Dunya, what about you? Fun fact to know. Yes, uh, I'm dancing my uh, whole, uh, whole life. Uh, but I uh, stopped uh, four years ago, but now I'm starting again and now I'm doing high heels uh, class. Wow! Yes, and I really yes. like it. So, uh, <laughs> so cool. Yeah, yeah you are, you're passionate about it. Yes. I can see that. Yeah, I really like it. So, uh, okay. So, and you all are ambassadors of the United Nations. And you all have those SDGs, right? Yeah. Yes. Which is linked to your beauty with a purpose. That's correct, right? Yeah. So tell me something more about your beauty with a purpose, Amber. Um, my beauty with a purpose is about cyberbullying. And uh, I want to bring attention to this subject because I think it's uh, really important that people know that it's a terrible uh, subject. I know what it feels like. And I think that uh, you can say easily terrible things over the internet and I think that it also... Um, Did it happen to you? Yes, it happened really? to me, yes. Okay. It really hurt myself and I felt very lonely, but at the end I become stronger, so I want to bring attention to it. Very good, looking forward to that. And which number of the H SDG is linked to that? 16. Six, okay. And what about you, Vinya? Yes, my beauty with purpose is body positivity and diversity. Um, I want to show everyone that they are beautiful just the way they are and that uh, on social media is, is um, you see on uh, you, see, you see on the social media um, much the perfect the perfect picture. Yes, picture's perfect. Yes, yeah. but that uh, isn't uh, the perfect thing. Everyone is beautiful, and I want to show that. Uh, to a lot of people. Yeah, so of course. Yeah. Everybody should be who they want to be, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to, to that as, uh, as well. What kind of SDG is linked to that? <laughs> I forgot. I, t uh, I really don't know the number. Okay, we just look it up and then you will yes. see. Because you have many SDGs to come yeah. as an ambassador, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Luca, what about you? Tell us about your beauty with a purpose. Uh, I have SDG 5, uh, gender equality, and my beauty with purpose is the empowerment for young ladies and women. And I want to help other women and to inspire them uh, and to be a role model for them. 
um, to give uh, them more self-confidence if they get attacked or something on the streets uh, they so they know how to act and um, yeah but that's and also a little bit of violence attacking on the streets yeah but uh, uh, in my own life I um, yeah I have to deal with it also so I know how uh, um, how hard it can be sometimes and I want to help other women with it well are uh, less a little bit less um, confidence yeah insecure um, yeah to to help them how, how they can react in a good way okay looking forward to that and we keep an eye on you because you all have your projects running next to the fact that you are ambassadors for the United Nations and also World Vision zip your lip right yes are you excited about that yes, yes. Uh, yeah. to help people children yeah in Angola yeah, yeah. exciting project right yeah yes okay so <laughs> let's move on ladies because we had your beauty with a purpose and you also have gotten yesterday your subject for today what was that Luca? Uh, sustainability sustainability oh wow that's big one right yes <laughs> <laughs> are you excited about it or yeah but sustainability can be so many things so um yeah did yeah. you get the questions up front dunya no <laughs> no so it's one big surprise what i'm going to ask you yes okay so. just relax we will we'll, we will be right back ladies and gentlemen with the questions <laughs> <laughs> Even pauze. En ik moet even mijn papiertje erbij. Ja. 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 Valt ja. mee toch? Ja, het ging goed. Ja, het is hartstikke eenvoudig. Het is nou, vind wat er nu komt wel enger. Ja? Dat je niet zo goed weet wat je moet verwachten. Kijk, je bent nu de purpose daar. Ja, ja, dat, dat is je ik. eigen verhaal. Daar, daar kun je je verhaaltje over vertellen. Maar dit, ja, dit lees je in eigenlijk. Maar je weet niet wat je moet verwachten. Hoe hebben jullie dit aangepakt, thema? Ik heb, duurzaamheid. Op, ik heb gewoon op internet gezocht eigenlijk. Ik heb veel Wat is duurzaamheid? Nee, ik was op TikTok live. En um, uh, toen zei ik tegen mensen, nou ik heb morgen een head to head. En het gaat over duurzaamheid. Jullie moeten me echt helpen. Alles wat jullie weten, moet jullie tegen mij vertellen. En toen stuurden ze me naar een link toe van uh, YouTube. Dus iemand die daar dus over praat en zo. En uh, toen ben ik niet meer gaan kijken. En toen dacht ik, nou ik zie het voor de rest zie ik het wel. Want ik denk, ja ik kan me wel... Yeah. Zo het is zo breed. Ja, het is zo breed. Ja. Ja. En hebben jullie dat samen een beetje voorbereid? Of dat weer nee. niet? Nee. Niet? Nee. Nee. Dus jullie zijn helemaal los van elkaar. Ja, maar dan kunnen we juist wel elkaar goed aanvallen. Ja, dat is ja. Gewoon... ja. We gaan het zien. We nee. gaan het zien. Ik ben natuurlijk ook les met dat soort van. Ja, ik zat nog niet in de groep, gekomen, maar. Ja. Ja. ja, maar duurzaamheid hadden wij ook pas gisteren gekregen. Ja, dat is waar. Ja. <laughs> Oké, okay. zijn jullie klaar? We are back with the questions about sustainability. That's their topic, ladies. Yes. So, do you think it's a topic of today, Amber? Um, yes, I do, because uh, climate change is happening now. And I think that climate change is real, because um, the earth is warming up. And I think that's not uh, good for the earth. Is it also something that you think about, Luca? Yes, absolutely. If I um, if I'm at home, I try to um, shower not too long. And um, how long do I you shower? <laughs> it depends on if I have to <laughs> have to wash my hair or not. But I try as fast as possible. So um, yeah, and with packaging, I try to use paper instead of plastic. And um, yeah. Do you find it's very difficult to pay attention to the topic of sustainability, Dunja? Um, yes and no. Um, you think not uh, so fast uh, to that, but uh, it's possible to do little things. If we begin by ourselves, we can, um, can help, uh, help it a lot. I think. How did it come to you, the sustainability subject? Or were you already aware of it before you entered the Miss World competition? Were you always already busy with the subject, or um, is it something that now comes along? Yes. During the trajectory. Yeah. Now, 
but uh, I try my best and I do the things what I can do. I, uh, I go to work with my bike and not with uh, the car. So that's a small thing, but it helps a lot. Yes. So um, yeah. What things do you do to contrib contribute to um, sustainability problem? I do uh, have a reusable bottle and for bags I also use a reusable bag and uh, we drive with an electric car so it's better and um, I also do uh, shorter showers but both of you are th saying we taking shorter showers before that how long did you take a shower an hour two hours um, I think a half hour. Half yes. hour. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I never did that because my parents <laughs> were there like, why are you still sh in the shower? My dad so was always screaming to me. <laughs> <laughs> half an hour and never worked out. <laughs> and now, now that you're more aware about the subject, how long does it take approximately? I think um, 10 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah. 5 to yeah. 10 minutes, that's good. Yeah. And what other things would you like to educate to the people to contribute to sustainability? Well, um, everyone knows uh, sustainability, but a lot of people don't know um, what's in it and uh, what they can do to help uh, sustainability in the Netherlands. But that's the question. So How do you yeah. want to educate people? I think uh, that we start uh, need to start with the children uh, on schools because if they know that they can um, tell it to uh, to each other, the children talk a lot. Uh, uh, so if we talk ab uh, about it on schools, that can help uh, help it. I think. From what age on do you think that would be um, a good thing to do? I think when they go to school. For I think it's too young, yes, but I think um, group uh, five six. If you dare start, and for the people watching, because we are the Netherlands, not everyone knows group five and six. What what kind of age are you talking about? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Uh, ten, eight, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> correct. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Okay. And um, if you th if you look at the Netherlands, do you think we do enough to contribute as a country? Not enough, but we we trying. Uh, the Netherlands is a um, good uh, country uh, for sun, sun sustainability. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. But uh, we trying, but we can do more, I think. <laughs> okay, ladies. So this was sustainability. Yeah. We are up to the last part of your challenge, head to head. Are you ready? Yes. 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 So tell me, what is the woman you want to talk about? Samara de Lempica. Yes. Yeah. Who is she? She's an, uh, an uh, artist. She makes uh, art. And um, she died in 1980. But she was a big artist. Um, she lived first in Pol Poland. 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 Yes. Yes. And uh, she, um, she be began with art because she don't have enough uh, money for uh, for her and her child, she has a daughter, so uh, yeah. And then yeah, then she moved to Paris. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she made a lot of um, famous paintings and uh, was a successful woman at yeah. the end. <laughs> at the end, can you talk? Can you say something more about that? Um, because your colleague here says, in the end, so yes. what happened? Uh, when she died in 1980. She um, has uh, paintings, uh, they are sold for very, uh, for a lot of money, and then she becomes uh, famous. But she didn't have that money during her life. No. So what happened there? Was she poor? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. She, be, yeah, she was known as the best uh, painters of Art Deco style. And she moved around also a little bit, right? Yeah. Yes. Can you tell something about that? What happened in her life? Ja, ik weet hoe het in Nederlands zegt, maar in het Engels niet hoor. Ze zei het in 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 Nederlands. Ze was depressief. Ze is ook depressief geweest. Depressive. Ja, depressive. En ja, ze is echt door een kuil gegaan. En toen ging ze eigenlijk 
art uh, verkopen en daar is ze echt succesvol van geworden. So. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and how did she inspire you? Because you didn't hear, hear about her before, right? No. So no. she was totally new for you. So what did she do to inspire you? What was the trigger for you? Yeah, I think uh, because she uh, came from nothing and she uh, okay. became yeah. yeah very successful. Yeah, yes. yeah, it inspired me uh, very well. I think uh, you need to do what you like, and so you can be successful. Yeah, if you want to read something, you can you can do it and. Uh, it's a mindset, also, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a mindset. You don't have to have a lot of money or a perfect face because if you really want something, yeah. you can really do it. Is that something that she really did to you? That's something you thought about her? Yeah. Yeah. Will you take that along your path? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. 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 Is there anything you want to add to this lady? Um, Maybe Amber? She was born in 1898, that's what I know. <laughs> that's what you know, yeah. And she was in the World War, right? Yeah. Yeah. Something happened there or you don't know? I don't know. I, don't uh, know. Uh, no. I haven't seen anything about that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this was it. This is your head-to-head -head challenge. You did a good job. Thank it's you. tough. Thank you. So uh, I hope she inspired you a lot yeah. and you can add her to your list of powerful women because she is, yeah, she made a point because otherwise she would not be uh, in the list of 50 powerful women around the world. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. This was group 5. Keep an eye on YouTube because you got the votes to vote for them. Thank you and see you back later with Group 6.